Well, hello, and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. This is Alethea with So Much Talent. Actually, the founder and creator of So Much Talent. And you can find us mostly on the Facebook group page, uh, So Much Talent slash GR. All right, so I am here today because I decided to do something. Um, well, I did, the, I did the sewing tag, I guess, early on. That was one of my first videos. But I decided to follow suit with uh, Myra of Myra Lorraine and do the favorite sewing tag. So I'm going to try to do that now. Mind you, I'm my husband's not going to be reading anything. <laughs> He's not here. And uh, so I want to go ahead and get this done. And I am going to do this impromptu. So meaning I didn't study these uh, questions. So I'm going to be reading these questions right from uh, the list right here. And it's 11 questions. Thank you all for uh, joining. I see there's three people here, so thank you so much for coming and watching. Um, if you can make a comment, so be it, so I know who you are. But otherwise, I'm just going to go through the questions, and we're going to answer them just like that. All right, so again, thank you for coming. All right, so uh, if I stumble on these, never mind me, but <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get in this and just go ahead and do it. So, hey, Andrea, how art thou? Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. All right, so first question. And let me just say, hey, Deanna, how are thou? Thank you for coming in. All right, so um, from what I read, let me just say this. Um, Myra followed, hey, Teresa, Myra followed um, these questions, that the favorites tag from main course, the main course YouTube channel. She's new to me, this young lady is, and I actually went back and watched her videos for the favorite uh, favorites sewing tag. Uh, so it's always great to meet new people. So I am jumping in and I'm going to do my favorite song. All right, so <laughs> here goes. Question number one, favorite fabric print. All right, now I had to laugh about that one because I don't know that I really have a fav favorite fabric print. It depends on my mood. It depends on the day. It depends on what's out there. So um, whatever's colorful, whatever's vibrant, whatever catches my attention. Um, so, yeah, I can't say that I have a favorite. Um, I'm into any kind of pretty print. All right. <laughs> so I can't really answer that one specifically. All right. A print, a pretty print. I guess that's what I'll say. A pretty print that catches my eye. All right. So what uh number two question number two favorite fabric to sew between knits or woven so knits or woven what are my favorites um i find myself i think mostly sewing with woven but again i don't really have a favorite whatever catches my eye whatever works i sew with any fabric so um yeah now i wear a lot of wovens um yeah, I don't know. These questions were kind of hard. For, I guess they shouldn't be too hard, but I really don't have a favorite uh, as far as it comes to knits, knits or woven, but I do sew with a lot of wovens. All right, so my favorite sewing book. All right, there again, I don't have a favorite sewing book because I don't really reference a lot of them. Well, I, if magazines could be included in that, sewn magazine would be my favorite sewing magazine. Book, I guess I don't know but I will say this because Myra referenced a book that she usually well actually she referenced two books but she actually referenced a go-to book that she keeps in her arsenal so to speak and if I had to go to any book this is one of my old-time favorites uh, that I I go to and this is the Vogue sewing book now this is an older version of this book there's newer versions of this out there and there are are different reference books of for its fit and you know techniques and and sewing terminologies and and things like that but this is this is one of the older ones it might be one of the newer ones that the first ones that came out um maybe one of the original ones this was copyrighted 1975 but like i say there are different versions of it but if i had to uh, call out any book that would be my favorite this is the one that i literally go to uh, when i'm here in my sewing space all right, so that was question number three. Uh, question number four. Favorite thing to do while sewing. <laughs> now, I had to laugh about this one because the first thing that came to my mind was snacking. 
I don't know if that's what they meant, but I don't know. I think we're, well, I won't say all of us. I won't put you all in this category, but I will say this because she brought it home and she actually shared Myra. And when I say she, I'm talking about Myra. Myra shared what she likes to do and she watches TV. Now I do find myself, I don't snack a lot now. I do, but I'm joking about uh, all the time. I don't, I do find myself snacking something you know, while I'm in the sewing room. But what I do when I'm in the sewing room and when I'm sewing, and I'm like, Myra, I listen more than I do anything. But I'm a YouTube fan or Spotify. It depends on, again, where I'm at, what mood I'm in, you know, what I'm what I'm doing. Because I'm very, uh, very, I won't say even spiritual, because that, that sounds like some woo-woo, but I, you know, I get into my word a lot. You know, I listen to my praise music. Uh, I listen to YouTube. I listen to a lot of YouTube. Um, either I'm watching something sewing on YouTube or I'm watching a, a somebody sharing a word or something on YouTube, something that's relevant uh, for me at the time. I will watch movies like on Netflix or um prime or something like that it just depends on what it is so i guess i would have to say um web tv or something on the web I, that's what i do all right so number five favorite things or clothing items to sew <laughs> now i i realize that a lot of these tags are based on what probably most people sew personally but of course, you all know that my business is sewn for the public, creating and designing for the public. So my favorite thing and, and thing that I sew the most is formal wear, you know, for women. I love creating gowns. I love sewing gowns, anything formal wear related. But I also love crafty stuff. I love working with my hands. I love creating things, you know, like up around me, I have several um call myself the bag lady for over the years I've sewn like several just bags impromptu um crafty bags here's one of them um and y'all just seen I just recently made created bow ties and pocket squares and the little cosmetic bags and so things like that in between I love doing but this was uh, a bag that I made like years ago that I really enjoy and when I say years ago uh my men folk my boys are like 26 and 20 right now and so I think I made this one my youngest was like a baby he may not have even been born yet but I love doing something with my hands all right so let's see number six number six is favorite way to purchase a shop for fabric okay so hands down I love shopping online because there are different fabrics that I cannot find locally now um I do a lot of local shopping only because I'm if I'm looking for something in particular that I go into my local stores. But my favorite choice of a uh, shopping is um, uh, shopping online. Now I will say I do like thrifting, so I do like finding fabrics. I like going for the hunt to find maybe a fabric in a fabric uh, in a consignment shop or a thrift store or something like that. If I can find something that's a real real bargain. Um, and take for instance these this is what I have back here these curtains I don't know if you can see them well I have it draped uh they're not really up there well anyway they're draped but it's a raw silk that I found at a Catholic social services and it was on a roll it was only two it had to be every bit of uh at least four yards on it but this is what I'm talking about when finding a, a bargain and I know I paid probably less than ten dollars for that fabric but it is a raw silk so stuff like that uh, makes me happy. All right, so uh, number seven, favorite way to purchase or shop for fabric? Well, that was the same question. Uh, so I think that was a typo. Uh, so that was six and seven, both the same. Uh, let me make sure I'm reading that right. Okay, yeah, that was the same question. All right, so, so number eight, favorite fabric between prints or solids favorite fabric between prints or solids I think I like prints I work with a lot of solids I mean you hey you tell me and this is only um, 
that's only a little bit of it, but I guess I would have to say prints, maybe. Prints as opposed to solids, but um, I don't mind any of it. All right, so let's see. Favorite fabric between prints and solids, we said that. Number nine, fabric. Uh, favorite pattern companies or pattern makers to sew. Um, I, I guess I'm going to be kind of a hard case. Because I don't have a favorite. Uh, well, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. Um, I have found myself here lately sewing from uh, new look patterns. Is that right? New look? I think that's what it is. New look. I found myself find, sewing a lot from new look. And I have been sewing a lot from some of the big four companies a lot from like simplicity which is odd because one of my favorite pattern company in the day and when i say in the day when i was much younger i would always sew from vogue patterns i loved vogue patterns and i still do but i'm finding um through you all i'm learning of different independent pattern companies and so i think one of my favorites that i've sewn so far has been close uh, a closet case patterns um, the not the Jaylee was it no the ginger jeans that has been one of my favorites because it's, it was a very good fitting pair of jeans that I made but um I don't I, and I hesitate to say my favorite now because I don't sew from a lot of patterns and from uh, many of you that follow me know that I do create a lot of what I sew I create my I've been creating my own patterns drafting my own patterns and uh, kind of mixing and matching or whatever the case may be. So I, I can't say that I have a favorite right now, but I do so from all of them. Um, like I said, I know I'm gonna be a hard case. <laughs> so, but I hope that I hope it's working. All right. So number ten, favorite thing to do with fabric scraps. Okay. So now this I had to laugh. <laughs> I had to laugh because. Um, I've been hoarding scraps and thinking one day I want to do this or one day I want to do that with it. So I like Myra. I think I'm going to end up throwing some of these things away, except for the fact that what might be my savior, savor, saving grace is the fact that I think it was, oh, who it, it was one of the sewists in the group that posted a hammock, not, not a hammock, um, what do you call those little round things? The uh, footstool ottomans. And she shared it where she stuffed it with scraps. Now, sometimes I do use the scraps to make like smaller items, uh, such as bow ties, pocket squares. I've used them for lining pieces. I've used them to um, um, create uh, pocketbooks, bags, tote bags, you know, pillows. You know things like that so if it's something noteworthy i've created uh christmas craft gifts i've made flowers with uh scrap fabrics fabrics that were left over so if it's something that's usable i'll use it for something like that but otherwise i have a lot of scraps that's boxed away waiting for that one day i do plan on and hopefully i'll get there is creating a quilt from a lot of the scraps that i've done so if i can get my mind to it and, and you know kind of carve some time out in between the projects that I am doing. That is the thing that I would love to do is to create a quilt with some of the scraps that I have because I have some beautiful fabrics uh, from some of the gowns that I've created. And so, yeah, that's what I plan to do, hopefully. All right. So the last question, I think this might have been like number 10, but it's uh, favorite amount of fabric to purchase when you don't have a project in mind. My rule of thumb has always been um, no less than two yards of fabric, two to three yards of fabric. But if it's a fabric that you really like and you think that you might make, you know, several pieces from it, you know, maybe like a top skirt, maybe a dress, maybe you're doing a, a um, I won't say a collection, but if you're doing a, a wardrobe pieces or something like that, I would say maybe about five. You know, sometimes even six. So it just depends on how much you really like the fabric, how wide the fabric is. Um, yeah. So I would say anywhere between two to six yards of fabric, depending on how well you like it and uh, what 
what kind of use you can get out of it. Uh, again, now, I create a lot of gowns and a lot of dresses, so my mindset is thinking on those terms sometimes. If it's for me specifically, then that rule of thumb applies. All right, well, that brought me to the end of my challenge questions, and I am interested to see how many of you all will join the challenge, this YouTube challenge called The Favorites Sewing Challenge. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, it did have me laughing. Uh, so I am looking forward to uh, seeing some of the other other uh, others of you sewists um, that will join the challenge and answer the questions. I am going to post these questions in the link. I'll go back and edit this out and post the questions in. Of course, this is a live video. Uh, so thank you to Myra uh, of the YouTube channel, Myra Lorraine, and also to Main Course. I guess I think she's the initiator of this uh, favorites challenge. I'm not sure. And I'm really not sure for a first name, so I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I love you to life. And remember, you are blessed to be a blessing. Until next time, to my next video, stay tuned. All right.